to an iTeam exclusive. This is a busy time of year at car washes, but the iTeam discovered workers taking more than just dirt out of some cars. Here's senior investigative reporter John Mercure. Mike, you know the drill. You pull into a car wash, you step out, and a few minutes later, you're delivered a shiny, sparkly car. Well, we found that while your car is getting cleaned, you may be getting cleaned out. If there's one thing that Milwaukee has no shortage of, it's car washes. At the car wash. Ryan is a regular car wash user. He wants to stay anonymous because he frequents several area washes. I do a lot of driving on the freeway, so it's convenient for me to uh, zip through a local car wash on the way home or on the way to work. It's not so convenient when Brian's garage door opener and money disappear during the car wash. You, know, you have to prepare to go into a, a car wash now. It's like locking your house. you got to lock everything up. We wanted to see how prevalent Brian's experience was. Over the course of several weeks, we wired multiple cars and trucks with hidden cameras and sent them into southeast Wisconsin's busiest full-service car washes. Our very first day, we roll into the Octopus Car Wash in Milwaukee. Our cameras are rolling as both vacuum men duck into our car and then dip into the stash of quarters we left in the cup holder. They actually grin at each other in the middle of cleaning us out. We head back to the octopus a week later. Our hidden cameras catch more of our coins being taken. The very next day, three different guys take us to the cleaners on one car. First, the worker on the driver's side helps himself to several coins. Five seconds later, check out the partner dipping in from the other side. A third worker driving our car forward swipes a handful of quarters and puts them in his pocket. On February 13th, we send Peggy into the octopus. She has a console full of quarters and a small dish of chocolates. Peggy gets hit big time. First, the guy on the right takes a handful of coins. Then a worker on the driver's side steals Peggy's candy. It's a feeding frenzy as Peggy gets hit twice more. Time to find out just how much of our money they stole. We put $15 worth of quarters here in the console of the car. And if you look at how much is left and how much they took, they walked off with $8.50. That's 34 quarters, more than half of our money. Time to talk to the manager. We brought 11 cars through here. Seven times money was stolen out of those cars. Well, that's a problem. That's a problem that I'm going to have to deal with then. As we show Kyle Dropic what we've uncovered, he's clearly embarrassed. I can guarantee you we're going to make strides, do better here, and um, this definitely be fixed, right? I'm going to start right now. And he does. Dropic actually goes and gets one of the workers we caught on tape. Despite the manager's confirmation that it's him, he tries to deny it. As we watch the video of him. No, it's not me. That is not you. That is not me. That looks like you to me. No, it's not. That is you. That's not me. We also go to Jimbo's car wash in Milwaukee three times. And all three times, we have money stolen. This is Dwayne. Our hidden cameras catch him taking more than a dozen quarters and candy. 40 minutes later, we roll another car into Jimbo's. We see Dwayne remove more quarters from both sides of the console. Hello. Hi. Is the manager here? We head in to show the manager what's been happening. As she watches Dwayne in action, her mouth literally drops open. She stands in stunned silence. In total shock. Angry and disappointed, she goes to get Dwayne. Right down in here. Mm -hmm. That's where we keep our money. Mm -hmm. That's where your hand goes. I'll be just going up and looking around. That's all I'll be doing. Looking around. Yep, that's it. Okay, you can mm -hmm. hear you take the money. Yeah, you can hear the money around with him. Take another look at the video we're showing Dwayne. Does it look like he's just looking around? We counted the money mm -hmm. before we came to the car wash. Right. We counted it when you got done, mm -hmm. and a lot of it was missing. Yeah, a lot of it was missing. Yeah. I only took, I don't take no change out of there. If I did, I'm just moving it around over there, probably. That's about it. So you're going to look me in the eye and tell I'm me looking. you did not take anything well, out of our if car. If I did, I didn't do it on purpose. I'll tell you that. You may want to lock up your stuff the next time you roll through the car wash. At the car wash.
And we did go to other area car washes where we did have nothing stolen. And managers at both the Octopus on North Green Bay and Jimbo's on Capitol tell us they have fired several employees following our investigation. And we do plan to turn over some of these results to prosecutors. Makes you think, and hopefully this story will serve as a deterrent uh, for sure. John, hopefully. Uh, John, I understand you've got an update on another big story you were working on. Yeah, we do, Micah. You're familiar with this case. It's of a deadbeat dad, and yeah. he's finally being held accountable for ignoring his son all this time. Professional poker player Scott Obst owes more than $200,000 in back child support. We hunted him down in Las Vegas, and today a judge sentenced Obst on two counts of failure to pay. And we should note he has been paying since our investigation, and he's been told he'll go to jail if he stops. And the best part is now that his son will get some of that money that he's owed. I-Team continues to get results. Getting the work done. Good work. Thanks.